Hello everyone, I am Vinu. Today I am going to share my views on our father of our nation, Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi. Even though he is not bodily present among us, his soul is present in the good deeds of him which we restore in our hearts. We all can be a Gandhian by following his ways, by coming into his shoes like being truthful, being simple and having faith. He has always been truthful in all his situations. He has always been towards the side of justice. That's what he always says, Satya Meva Chayate. We should be inspired by his ideologies and that is what inspired me and gave me a vision in my life. I have always admired how he fought a war without any harshness, hatred or anything. He just fought the war in a peaceful, non-violence way and he told us to be united and that is what gained us freedom. He also removed untouchability and superstitious beliefs among us and, and taught us to live in a unity in diversity way. He also taught us to love one another and inculcate the value of brotherhood. He also tried to remove caste system and superstitious beliefs and dowry system from our lives which led to our leading our life comfortably. Today we are educated and are being literate and that is leading to the progress of our country. Today we are being educated that is only because of Gandhi fighting for educational rights. If he wouldn't have fought for this, today we won't be studying this much and be able to speak like this in front of And there is no corruption and he fought for the freedom of speech. Today we are able to speak like this and share our ideas and all our emotions without any objections and that is because he fought for the freedom of speech. I always wish of be, uh, witnessing the world war and that has happened and I, I can contribute myself from that side. So that was all a dreamy joke and the way he fought the war and all his laws or anything he implemented was always for our good and all the laws he has implemented led, to, led us in a disciplined and just way. His contribution to our country India is priceless. He has always done good for all of us. He always cared for our needs. Till his last breath, he did. He died everything for our country, for the good of our country, for the development of our country. He always taught us to be neat and clean, and I take pride to clean my washrooms. Always he led to the path of non-violence, which boosts me to follow the same in my small situations, and not to end up such situations in rivalries. Gandhiji was like a candle, sacrificing himself for gaining us freedom and the development of our country. As a girl, I feel proud that today I am able to talk before you like this. Because if Gandhi hasn't fought for the freedom of women and educational rights for women, today I won't be able to speak like this in front of you. He always respected women and valued their ideas. He always said, women are not separate people. They are not only fit for household chores or domestic works. They have the capability, courage, grit and everything, problem solving skills. With this, they can move the nation to greater heights if they are given authority. These women are shining in each and every aspect. Today, in this world, we can see in every profession there is a woman. Even the daughters of India are getting equal shares of land from their father without being discriminated among their brothers. And that is more bold thing to say now. He also advised the farmers, if we see the history back, he also advised the farmers not to take uh, grow indigo in their lands which were forced by our farmers to grow by the British and that was a bold move. And the one best quality I like in, in Gandhiji is that he always used to win the heart of enemies not in a wrong way but in a right way through his words, deeds, everything. One such in incident is that his encounter with General Smuts once he visited South Africa to see that their people are being under slavage and they are being persecuted very badly. He knows General Smuts and they were best friends but General Smuts was a very cruel man. He always, uh, I mean, he, was, he had a good relationship with Gandhiji. So Gandhiji went there with simple clothes which showed his simplicity. Actually he would have come with a suit and all but he came with a simple hand woven cloth and there he came and he had a healthy conversation with General Smooth but he didn't agree to Gandhiji's uh, bill to pass on the bill to end up the slavage of the South Africans over there. 
but after a lot of conversation between them even general smooth had met the by the way how he expressed his ideas and views and he agreed to pass on the bill but before going gandhi ji presented general smooth with the present and general smooth was a little afraid to open the present as he was worried if that is there was any bomb or something but he said i wouldn't do that to you general smooth you are my best close friend so thinking that such a great man won't do such a thing and he opened it when he opened it he saw that there were beautifully beautiful leather shoes over there gandhi ji said that that he has made it all with his own hands when he was in jail and this touched general smooth even more hard and he said i am not fit into the shoes of such a great man he always taught me to be truthful and that learn from my mistakes and to be simple and not to expend more spend more in other expenditures which is unnecessary to have faith in myself and to be courageous in whatever i do and to have no fear about what others might say and what they might think of us just feel free and express your views this is what i learned from our great soul that is gandhi ji he has always been patient he in every aspect of his life he has always been patient that led to his success and he was very he had lot of perseverance and was a determined person which led to which which led him to greater heights till his last breath he has always ser- did service for the country he has inspired many generations across the world which have been the bedrock of civil rights which waged against oppressive regimes his life was a conquest which discovered towards the light of truth from the journey till the end by experimenting himself and finding out great solutions his satyagraha literally means the endeavor of truth ahimsa or non violence which he which was his principle of gaining others hearts without any hatred or anything was a major played a major role in indian religions by anansuman a handmade piece of cloth a khadi which he wore himself and wore those clothes with this he shows his simplicity he never looked at inferior at the poor or downtrodden he always tried to make their lives with ease and what good laws to Im- make their lives easier and without feeling bad for what they have been like this he has always done good to everyone and such a big soul he has always said and i to i will only lead the world blind with this he that's why he always did service to others without hurting them he never hurted anyone and he always said the best way to find yourself is losing yourself at the service of others that see he was such a great person babu you live in our hearts and soul forever